Oh, come on in here. Look, Luke's got his world hoodie on today. Look at that thing. I love it. All right, it's Friday. Neil Denton is here to answer some of your lawn care questions. How are you? I'm good. Everything good? Everything's great. The South Pole on that shirt's crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go, Neil. <laughs> Question number one for you. When okay. is the best, to, actually, I was wondering the same thing, Tom. When <laughs> is the best time to aerate and oversee the lawn in the spring? Uh, February is our best time, late February. However, if it's still as wet as it is now, it's not going to be a good time not to aerate. Not even worth it. To aerate, you could sow some seed, but I wouldn't get on it with really? an aerator. Yeah. All right. Sally is up next. Uh, we have a problem with wildlife getting into the attic. Several flying squirrels have had to be removed. Will these electronic repellent devices actually work to keep them out of the attic? Good question. It is a good question, and we've heard very mixed results on them. Uh, some folks have had real good success with them. There's nothing wrong in trying them. They don't hurt anything, um, but I don't know. I really don't well, what, know. What is another solution, Neil, for her? Another solution would be to find out where they're getting yeah. in. And also, one of the things people don't think about in older homes, if you have wood in the eaves that may be decaying, it may not look that way, but you may need to have someone come in, replace some of that wood to make it harder for them to get through. And make sure you check all the vent areas for the attic because a lot of older homes had a wooden vent and they can be decayed and the screens can be gone from the back of them. That's an easy opening into the attic. All right, and we have Delaney up next. Next, We planted 15 shrubs on the property line in October. We watered early. The rain has kept the area quite wet. Should we start watering them again and when? Well, this is a good point. We definitely don't need to water them more likely right now. But once it does start to dry up, they have not expanded out of that hole you originally put them in. So they can dry out pretty quickly, particularly as we get further along in the winter, closer to spring. When they break dormancy, if we're not getting regular rainfall like we are now, you need to start water them and water them for a couple of years when it gets dry to make sure you get them really started off right. All right, good stuff. Have a great weekend. I'm going to, you too. All right, well, he's confident about this weekend, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. If you'd like to shoot e Neil an email, <laughs> live at five at WBIR.com and put Ask Neil in the subject line, allow for a few days to get a response. All right.